guys and welcome to my shop. Today I want to talk to you guys about a new edition and it is this brand new Grizzly G0856 8 inch jointer with spiral cutting heads and mobile base. Now it's been a dream of mine for some time to set up a really awesome woodworking shop and to be able to include this level jointer is very cool. Now I'm working with Grizzly on this video, so if you are in the market for a jointer, I have a pretty awesome deal for you guys. You can use the code DARBIN10 to get 10% off this machine. But now, let's get started. So, in preparation for doing this video, I did a little bit of research because I was wondering how long have jointers actually been around? And it turns out that the modern jointer was patented in 1866 by Clymer and Riley, and other patents followed with the main idea being a pair of tables, infid and outfid with a cutter head in the middle. So pretty much the same as today. However, the jointer is often confused with the planer. And did you guys know that the European name for the jointer is actually the planer? Whereas the planer is called the thicknesser at least according to my research, so no wonder there's some confusion going around. However, fundamentally, you know a jointer is used to flatten the face of a board, just like a hand plane turned upside down. Then once you have a flat surface, that's when you can run it through the planer, which enables you to control the thickness of the board. And I am gonna do a separate video soon on my new Grizzly planer, because the two really are a great couple that work well together. But back to the jointer. I was excited to finally get one in my shop because I work quite a lot with rough sawn lumber. And previously, I've just done a lot of hand planing. Although, I did also make a DIY jointer at one point. This is a handheld power planer. I turned it upside down and I built a case around it. Which worked well, but uh, you can't even compare that to this. I mean, this machine is in a whole other category. So I want to share what it's been like to set it up and what my thoughts and experience has been like relating to it so far. So, I already have a grizzly lathe and bandsaw which were delivered earlier this spring. And the experience this time was very similar. In fact, I had the same UPS driver who remembered exactly my particular property and how to back in and everything, which was kind of funny. So it was quite nice to get the tools delivered right into the shop. Okay, so I have new deliveries in the shop. Grizzly planer, grizzly jointer. Um, the shop at the moment is in a bit of a state because as you can see, uh, half of it has a wood floor, half of it has a concrete floor. Uh, so trying to figure out, you know, where to put everything and that kind of thing. So just like previously when I've received Grizzly products, everything is packaged up really well and it's just a matter of putting all the parts together. So uh, protecting the beautiful tables from rust here and then lifting this section on top of the base. And it's definitely a good idea having two people here, I think. Okay, we got, got the belt. And as you pull it, we spin. I would say the biggest thing once it was all assembled was making sure that the table heights are adjusted properly and you can consult the manual for that. So just got the jointer more or less set up, got every part installed, did a test cut and it's just so nice and stable. Uh, having these beds on both sides is so cool. The beds are adjusted using a sliding dovetail mechanism, which is quite nice. And you can adjust the level of cut here also. And I've changed the aggressiveness depending on what type of wood I'm working on. I must say one thing that has been quite impressive to me is the quality of the finish once you've joined a board. 
I mean, I look at it and I think to myself, this doesn't need any sanding or anything because the finish is incredible. And that is due to the spiral cutting heads. So this is the first time I've worked with helical cutting heads. And you can get this jointer with traditional steel knives or you can get it with the setup, which is an upgrade. So these spiral cutting heads are made up of small carbide cutters, which are placed closely to each other on a machine spiral pattern in a steel head. Apparently the carbide should hold an edge for at least three times as long as high speed steel, and sometimes longer than that. However, the neat thing is that when you notice that the cutting heads get dull, which in my case won't be for a very long time since, you know, I'm not exactly running a production shop, um, well then you can simply rotate each blade because there are four sides to each cutter. And then you have a brand new finish. So pretty neat. <laughs> and this is the same setup that I have on the planer as well. I suppose another big difference if you compare steel knives to the spiral cutters is the sound level. This machine is not very loud when you're using it. And this is something which you may not think about when you first you know, research which tool to get, um, but it really does matter in the long term. It's really nice using a machine that is not you know, overly loud. So um, a couple of other features. The fence is easy to move, and that way you won't wear out just one side of the cutters. And you can also angle the fence, which is nice. And like I mentioned previously with these grizzly tools, is I, I really like the buttons and the wheels and all of those features. They have a really nice feel to them. Plus, I think they look like they belong in an old-fashioned woodworking shop, uh, which I really like. So yeah, this is the 8 inch jointer and in my experience it's been a really good size for most jobs so far. Yeah, I mean there has been once or twice where I wished it was a 12 inch, but those instances are pretty rare. Um, but I'm definitely glad it's the 8 inch and not the 6 inch because I think I would definitely wish for the 8 inch quite often if that was the case. So yeah, I've had this tool in my shop for about two and a half months now. And for parts of that, I've been busy reorganizing the shop, plus it's just been very, very hot and too uncomfortable to spend much time in here. But I have had the opportunity to use the jointer quite a bit, nonetheless. And I mean, when you go from not having a jointer and a planer to suddenly having that set up, I mean, so many jobs and projects suddenly feel so fast and within reach. I'm not like, okay, jointing that board sounds very hot and tiring before getting to the actual step of cutting the wood up and getting, you know, into building. But now it's like, oh, I get a chance to use these tools and it's really quite fast to go through the milling process and such a pleasure to do that. I mean, it's fun and everything feels so efficient. And yeah, this, especially this whole difference of going from not having milling equipment to suddenly having it, and I mean, it's a game changer. It's really nice. Um, so anyway, don't forget that if you're in the market for a new jointer, you can use my discount code uh, DARBIN10 listed in the description below for a really awesome discount. And uh, yeah, that code is actually good for a couple of other machines too. So if you're in the market for um, my lathe, my bandsaw, jointer and planer and a couple of other tools. And I'll put a link in the description to all the tools that you can use that code on. Um, it's a pretty good deal when you're making this kind of investment. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, if there was anything that I wasn't clear about in the comments below. And I'll see you soon. Bye. This walnut, I'm not sure if it is claro or black walnut, often features a lot of quilting and figure in the wood. And I've used it. And the maple looks very different the of them all when you really get that pop. Project. And they're all of different lengths and thicknesses. Into the same size strips. Just how much harder the, and uh, here you can see the scale of it. So it's heavy. It's been such a pleasure.
and the fourth by 1.9 by... I was thinking that if I was going to make a lot of these sets, then 